love my silly little internet friends. Hey, silly internet friends. If you see this, mwah, I love you. Girl, help, I'm having creation ideas above my skill level. Girl, help, I'm having creation ideas above my motivation level. Oh my Girl, help, I'm having creation ideas above my free no, time God, level. No, no. All of the above. No. Bless the followers who tolerate your 95% fandom posts that aren't even their fandom. Gotta love their tenacity. Hey, how did you learn to write well? Well, first, you have to be a very, very sad child. Yeah. Staring at my laptop. You know, so very rude that a chapter isn't writing itself. Like, what are you expecting me to do to get the next part of my fic done? Actually using my fingers to type out words again? Ugh, the audacity. We're all just horses in God's plinko. Yeah. Hey, and all of you that hate mint ice cream, what happened? If you think I'm gonna eat frozen toothpaste, you are mistaken. This forces me to believe that you either had never had mint ice cream, or have never brushed your teeth. Which is it, Soft Connor? Which is it? Today on AO3, Jesus Christ slash Rainbow Dash. Ugh. Sometimes I think I've seen everything that AOE has to offer. And then shit like this beats me upside the head with a folding chair and steals all my money. Just as a reminder that I haven't seen anything yet. Guys, 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 I just had the craziest dream I was trapped in a world of people who ship like this. Oh. <laughs> right. The best dynamic for a group of characters. Every single one of them is the weirdest person you will ever meet, but in wildly different ways. Every time you think you've identified the normal one, they casually reveal that they don't think birds exist, or they fist fight grizzly bears on the weekends, or they collect human skulls. And you realize again that none of these people are remotely normal. Also, they're round family. Alright, Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool is a big brother to Tom Holland's Spider-Man, but boyfriends with Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man. He has a restraining order on Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. I want to know why. Tumblr users have the same energy as Gotham citizens who refuse to move away after the fifth supervillain attack in a week. At some point, staying becomes a weird badge of pride. Alright, that's enough emotions for a whole year. Ciao! The earlier in the year you blog this, the better it gets. Guys, if 2222 falls on a Tuesday, it could also be known as Tuesday. <gasps> DUDE! Write a story where the plot is based on some song lyrics. <clears throat> she was happy, and she knew it. The urge to show it overwhelmed her. She clapped her hands. Why does it sound like a Panic at the Disco did, uh, did this in their early days? Like, uh, it's not my, not my best branded impression, but... She was happy and she knew it. The urge to show it overwhelmed her. She clapped her hands. She clapped her hands. Oh. Like that? Yes, Tumblr is all about Blorbo from your shows, but true love is letting your dash be about Grumpo and Slimpit from your friend's shows. I mean, yeah. It makes sense. Behold, a cat and a lowercase cat. <gasps> baby! And baby. Actually, I love finding gay subtext and things. It's like seeing gay shrimp colors and straight people are never going to experience it. Suck it! In this world, it's yeet or be yeeted. Yeetin? You! Ah, lyrics that you miss here and find out the real ones and you're just like, Yeah, my version's better. It fucking smells like teen spirit, what the fuck? Anyone without a fireplace as a kid can relate to how horrific it was watching Santa liquefy and slowly ooze through the heating vents. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What, 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 what did you say? <laughs> Andy, bro, you fell for my epic prank where I used my body to shield you from a fatal injury so that I could collapse into your arms and be held by you as you push my hair out of my eyes and tell me I'm going to be okay and to just hold on in a panic voice while I laugh because I'm delirious from blood loss and tell you not to cry, <laughs> even though we were both very much crying. Like, Andy, you got totally tricked, dude. <laughs> right? 
Right. Hey, why go to therapy when you can just touch grass? And eat grass. And lay in grass. And be grass. And grass. Is it, is it a cheap shot to use the bit I used from last time? Andy, I'll let you decide that. At this moment, decide what you want to do. You can either put the video in or not. Go. I fucking forgot I was mildly allergic to citrus and I just got some two fucking liter bottles of orange juice in 10 minutes. Hello, me! I just realized orange juice and citrus sets are fucked! I hope they're okay. Listen, I don't shave my legs because the patriarchy conditioned me to. I shave my legs because wearing clothes over leg hair is the sensory equivalent of seeing something stuck between someone else's teeth and not being able to say anything about it. It's like being in a ball pit of fingers and daddy long legs. Once you feel that shit, good fucking luck on feeling it. Neurodivergent problems, God. Bro, I can't play horror games, man. What, fuck, what, what if I turn around the corner and see a thing or something? Legend has it if you make it to the end of this video and you turn around, you'll see all the disturbing fan art people have done of Phoenix, Roxanne, Wolf. You don't want to see it. You don't want to see it. Andy, don't turn the video around. Don't do it, please. Don't turn the video around. Oh God, it's right there. How the fuck do I make a person turn a video around? Silent Hill 2 live blog, let's go! Ah! 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 Pretty scary. I have H-R-E. Hopeless romantic energy. I have H-R-E. Holy Roman Empire. hamburg er Right? Ah, I think I will rip a few things apart with my teeth and then feel better. Like a piece of paper, snack bag, gummy bear, yeah. I just saw a picture saying do or die, and it literally translates to die or die. Do you want to die in Danish or English? <laughs> my starts nervously. Me, completely out of touch with my feelings, trying to describe an emotion. I feel, um, glittery, buzzy, like peeling my skin off. Are those normal emotions? Blorbo from my shows this, Scrimblo from my games that, what about OCs, aka Glunkus from my brains? Did... Andy, did Lizzie take over Tumblr without me knowing? Like, writing prompt. While putting your favorite condiment on a sandwich, you accidentally make a magical occult symbol and summon a daemon. You silently take two more slices of bread out of the package and make another sandwich. You put it on a plate with a handful of potato chips and hand it to the demon. He takes the sandwich, smiles, and vanishes off in a puff of demonic smoke. The next day you get that job promotion you were after. There was no contract. No words spoken. You owe nothing. But every now and then, another demon pops in for lunch. Demons don't often get homemade sandwiches. That's precious. The real question is how the fuck... Did Persephone only manage to eat six pomegranate seeds? They're like the fucking cocaine of fruit. You can't just eat like six singular seeds. You have to pop handfuls upon handfuls into your mouth at rapid speeds, and they get sad because you spent half an hour getting them out of the pomegranate and ate them all in five minutes. Uh, are you okay? Pomegranate. It's been a long time since I said it this way, so I'm going to say it just to piss off some mythology fans. Persephone. You have my gun. And my gun. And my gun! Please read the URLs, I'm begging you. Now you too can become the soft elf. <sighs> can I? Miss Yana's beautiful and smart. Hopefully she will allow me to. Snum, absolutely! H how do I look? The sweater's a little big on me and pants don't really work. At least it's comfortable. <laughs> my child, you look marvelous and perfect. Andy, look at them. Look at this baby! It's a baby! That's a baby. They took to it like a duck to water. They began naturally, almost effortlessly, and were immediately in their element. They took to it like a baby otter to water, screaming, certain they were dying, hating every minute of it despite being perfectly suited to the conditions, aka my childhood. Am I right? All right. <laughs> Moving on. My brain is like, do the thing! And then my body is then like, I did the thing! And then after all that, I just depressingly fuck right off to my room and go to sleep until midnight because I am like a goblin and I need food. ADHD sucks, please fucking help me! I want realistic modern fantasy, like 
someone finding a dragon egg and live tweeting the process of trying to hatch it, with no prior knowledge on how a dragon egg should be hatched, a guy selling an enchanted sword on Craigslist, a tattoo artist who does spell runes but for really mundane stuff like conjuring a bound demonic pen or for summoning your keys, summoning a demon for the vine, selfies with mermaids, and prank calling wizards. Give it to me. Well, hey there, you've arrived at a Tumblr checkpoint. Are you 30? Have a sip. Are you hungry? Have a spike. Have you been sitting in the sale proclation? Mac your tabas. Are you stick? Pert your indies. Do you need to prot a bundle? Go, now. Are you tired? Break your togs. Do a quick snap of your vitals. Are you fond? Do you need to reduct your plandals? If you have a trick, tog it. If you need to sitch, go so. Are you grot or too trinkling? If you need to break off a grant or mend the bundle, go do that now. I hope this helps, and I hope you have a wonderful day. <sighs> What's the... What? What is happening? What? 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 So because the last few videos I've been screaming constantly, I decided with this one, we're gonna do a nice calming voice to calm everyone down. So grab a blanket, close your eyes, and just embrace the calming madness that is Late Night Tumblr. That's right. I love tags. It's like muttering under your breath on the internet. Except you didn't put any tags. And you put a tag underneath this, whatever I'm about to mutter. Baloney eggnog. Yeah. Have you ever looked at a cartoon show with a story arc and an interesting villain as well as lots of epic potential that's barely touched by the writers and then said, You could have been so much more. Yeah. Rad Mario joke. What if Mario gets the mushroom and it was drug? <laughs> Good Mario joke. What if Peach was red and green color blind? That's why they gotta put the letters on their hats. Far out. Girly, you can't give up now. You don't have the dark green couch of your dreams yet. Go get that couch. Wish I were a cat. Play in sun. Stretch. Sleep. And purr. <gasps> purr. Alright, that was a little disturbing, even for me. I still can't believe sheep sea slugs look like that. Let's just look at it. Look at it. Unbelievable. He has a Webkin's cow face. I'm crying so hard. Here's a fun Christmas idea for next year. Hang mistletoe, but instead of kissing, you have to fight whoever else is under it. Mistlefoe, trademark. Make this a thing so I can deck someone in the halls. You know, I think if you want to eat white chocolate, you could just eat candle wax instead and not even notice the difference. Well, you're just mad that I'm eating this delicious white chocolate and you're not. Oh my god. This isn't white chocolate. Oh god. Just to annoy Hermione, Luna pretends that she doesn't believe in birds for a solid month. Luna would. Hey, if Marx was real, what would his Tumblr URL be? If Marx was real. Ah, yes, the eternal game of Kirby fan or deluded communist. My favorite thing to do is to tell my friends about the wild things Victor Hugo did and see the look of shock and horror in their faces because they only know him as the great author who wrote Les Mis and Hunchback and not as the man who gave his fiance a live bat in an envelope. You what now? Radiation's insane. There's like rocks out there that'll pull the seams of your organs apart if you stand too close to them. I mean, some rocks really do have auras. Unfortunately, the aura is eat, shit, and die energy. Oh, the masculine urge to put on that one dress I like and disappear into the woods. To become a thing of local legend whispered about at night over a campfire. Hell yeah. You ever just look at your pet and go, holy shit, there's a little beast moving and doing things of its own volition. In my home. And you must feel that way with Kimiko, right? Affirmations. I'm a cool bug. I'm not gross. People who find me want to show me to their friends. I feel a valuable role in the ecosystem. And macro lenses will not harm me. Far out. That's right. And that's the end of this little calming video. There's no screams at the end of this one. I wouldn't do that to you. In fact, you're probably feeling your eyes close right now. And even the video's getting a little sleepy. Andy, you can see it blinking, don't you? Slowly trying to stay awake. Oh, 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 there it goes. There it goes.
Nighty night, everybody. Even though it's probably 12 p.m. when I post this, but who cares? Far out. See the grass? Go touch it! Bitch, we're in hell! There is no grass! <laughs> <laughs>